Hey guys, so I wanted to do my single mama Saturday video and this one's actually going to be kind of a follow-up to some pictures that I posted on Instagram. So I shared some pictures of the boys on horseback and obviously if you watch my dating crossroads video like you put you know A and B together and you're like ah okay so clearly she's gone down that path and I have and you guys <clears throat> pointed something out to me that I wasn't even aware of and watching back at that video I totally knew who I wanted to be with I don't know what I don't even it's just funny it's funny because watching it back it's like oh that's clear as day no wonder everybody was like um, it's in the video so anyhow thank you for me bringing that to my attention I feel silly not not seeing it myself um, so yes so now we have been seeing each other for almost a month now and he has met the boys and you might be like, holy cow, that's so soon, this and that. And I did a video about it. But here's here's kind of like my thought process behind it. Deacon's outside. And really quick before he comes in, because he's walking this way, I'll talk about it, Drake snapping. Um, they know him as my friend, and that's it. They're young. They're naive. It's easy for me to get away with that. I have tons of friends. Um, you know, I'm friends with all my friends' husbands. It's not weird that I have a friend that happens to be a guy. Um... It is cool though that this friend happens to own some horses and some fun dogs that play catch because we have three dogs and they don't play catch um, and, and stuff like that. So I use this like eye brightener, like my eyes are like oh, so bright. Um, I feel like I look weird. Do I look weird? Is it too bright? I don't know. Maybe it's just what I actually look like without big bags under my eyes. Anyhow, um, yeah, so he has met them. And we've seen them together now with the kids four times, no, five times, five times. And the reason for that is because it's so fun to hang out Lots with them. We do things, um, you know, at first it was just petting the horses and feeding the horses and then sitting on them, them and like full on like trot ride and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of fun. If anything, to the kids, it's just, it's going to hang out at Switches. a ranch. You know, that's what grandma's house is. And and my grandparents and things like that. So it's just fun. Um, what else do I want to say? I have seen people longer and not had any interest in introducing, but um, just given the circumstances and the person and just all of it, it's it's been a really good, really oh, good thing. Um, yes, honey. Are you, are you wearing high heels? No, I'm not wearing high heels. You're going to need a mango in a bag. Why is the mango in the bag? Because we're going to bring it to Nana Papa's house for the other day. Oh, okay. We're going to take it to Nana Papa's house, um, which we are going to very soon. So, anyhow, that, um, oh, don't mess up my nails. Deacon did my nails. Let's see if I can do this without being inappropriate because I am wearing a dress. Can you see him? Hot pink craziness. Um, so, yeah, he has met them. On my Instagram, there's a few pictures. I've got a really good one. If I remember or have time, I'll put it in right now. Um. And it's, it's just been, it's like very natural. It's a natural feeling. I don't feel like anything's forced. It's been really fun. We've had a ton of fun. And if, if, and if things don't work out, it's been a great experience. And, um, yeah. So, uh, yes, I do worry about them saying, you're wearing my heels, huh? Very nice, Deacon. <laughs> um, look how much taller you are now. Um, I do, you know, that, that is a concern of mine of all of a sudden, like them falling in love with this person, them as in, you know, falling in love with him or really enjoying him and then no longer, you know, seeing him that much. Uh, I don't know. That's a concern, but so far the fun has outweighed any possible, you know, break and I don't plan on bringing a lot of people in and out of, of our lives, but you know. You are quite the fashionista, or fashionisto, if that's even a word. All right, so hopefully that kind of clears some things up and answers any questions and, and whatnot. So if you have any other questions, please leave them below, and I will work on answering them. Um, oh, don't throw the mango. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. God, my eyes are so white looking. Does it look bad? I don't know. It's going to be too late now by the time you guys see this video. I can look like a match. I'm like tan, I'm like pink, but tan not working. All right. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.